Hello, I'm Rod Clary. In PetScoop 3, we promised we would be bringing you more agility, and this PetScoop focus focuses on canine agility. I hope you're ready to sit, stay, and enjoy. We also promised we would try to find out what these people are doing. We wondered if they were a dance troupe working on a new routine or maybe part of a life-size game of mousetrap. As it turns out, neither one of these is correct. Let's talk to someone in the know to get the answer. You go out without your dog and you pretend like you're walking, you're running the course with your dog. You try to set it up the way your dog would run the course, how to get them to do the certain obstacles the best way. When you get up into the excellent classes, at that time you're looking for lines so that the dog makes the straightest line across the course. So, and you try to figure out how, what position you need to be in so that they make the fastest time possible so that you get the highest score that you can get. Our club actually started in um, 1967. Um, it started in a barn in Clayton, Ohio. We moved to the armory and had more and more members and we finally acquired this building. We've been here since 93, I believe, 93, and we acquired 10 acres on Valley Crest in 99. We host several um, events here. We do everything from confirmation to agility. We do um, several um, venues. Uh, we let rent a building from UKC, CPE, ASCO, which is uh, the Aussie uh, associations. Of course we are an AKC club but you do not have to have an AKC registered dog or belong to AKC to be a member here. Okay, this is the tire, it's got a 24 inch opening. For AKC they set it at one jump height lower than where it is normal so that if you're a 12 inch dog you jump at an 8 inch. If you are a 16 inch dog it jumps at a 12 inch. Currently, it is one complete circle. Sometime in the future, right now, I think it's on a trial basis, they are making it so you have a breakaway tire, so if the dog touches it, it will fall apart so that the dog can't get hung up on it and get hurt. This handler is well known for his motivational speeches that help him get the very best from his teammate. Agility is a sport that actually started, I believe, in England. Um, was first demonstrated at Crufts back in the late 70s. It's patterned off of horse steeplechase. This event was the Gem City Dog Obedience Club's AKC sanctioned agility trial. Gem typically does uh, two or three of them a year and this was our February event, which we have annually. This is, I think, the second year that we've had it at the Champion Center at the Clark County Fairgrounds. My role this year was as trial chair. Now, typically what that would mean is um, I organize things at the beginning, uh, making sure that the facility is set up and we know when we're going to have volunteers come in to get things ready. Um, we have committees at GEM for each aspect of the work or there are lead people and I just try to make sure that we have all of those lead people and that they know what the job is um, and that they've agreed to do what they need to do. All of this is volunteer work. No one gets paid except for the two judges that are AKC judges, judges and they have to be hired um, uh, for that reason. So we do pay them. It's a nominal fee. They get paid. Everyone else is a volunteer. We essentially are volunteering our time to Jim. Uh, to earn the hours that are required for um, membership. So we have things like uh, lead course builders, someone who, set, who ensures that the course is set up correctly according to the judge's specifications. And those are very, very specific specifications. The course is never the same, so each day the courses are different, and at each trial the course is different. Um, we have uh, course builders who ensure that that's set. We have people who uh, set jumps when they, they get knocked over. We have people who are in charge of keeping the time for each dog's run. We have scribes who note what the judge indicates. If there's a fault, if the dog has done something incorrectly, the judge makes a motion, makes a movement, and the scribe understands what that means. So the scribe writes it down 
so that we have an accurate um, recount of how that dog's run was handled. So there are just a lot of different jobs that have to be done and the trial chair uh, ensures that there are people who get people to do those jobs. Um, each trial kind of start a few months before just to be sure that the people who are overseeing different aspects agree to do that job. I'm a judge for the American Kennel Club and it's an agility trial and what I have to do is design courses for the various levels of competition and then lay them out, make sure they're safe and make sure everybody has fun. We have novice, which are the baby dogs and sometimes novice can be an older dog or a rescue dog that somebody's decided they want to play with. Then you move up to open, which gets a little bit harder, and then excellent and master are your top level. And they're the most experienced dog. The sizes of the dogs vary, but the jump heights go from four inches, they'll go four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, and then we have the 26 inch, yeah. This is called a refusal, and what a refusal is is when a dog is heading towards an obstacle it's supposed to go to and says, no, I don't want to do it, and turns away. You get an R. A W is if they take something out of order. This means they failed to complete the obstacle correctly, not to bar or miss contact, that sort of thing. And then a whistle means you're eliminated. You've done something so bad that you now have to leave the ring. And lots of times it's just pooping in the ring. <laughs> That's why it's an elimination. <laughs> Okay, this is a jump. Um, they are, can be four to five foot lengths. This one is a four foot length. The dog's heights determine what so height you put the jump. They go from four inches up to 26 inches. A dog is measured when they're two, two years old. They get measured twice by a judge. There's an eight inch, in regular, there's eight inches, there's a 12 inch dog, there's a 16 inch dog, there's a 20 inch, 24, and if you choose to, you can go to 26. Go. We have about 200 members that belong here. We're a, a bigger part of family. If you can imagine having a, a lot of women here, if something happens, we all know very, very shortly. Um, and we're just, we're just considered a big family here. It's a nonprofit, all volunteer club. If you take two classes at normal, normal price, you can become a member, and all your stuff becomes half price. Um, and it helps with the cost of everything. And like I said, you can uh, help participate in doing, working at trials or helping take care of the land or anything like that. And it also helps with uh, taking off some of your expenses. Off to judge we go. Erica, where right are the stripes you. and stuff Thanks. tomorrow? You know, I think really, um, in this case, because I'm about to judge the fast class, thinking about um, you know where I need to stand so I can make sure I see all the judges or all the dogs appropriately with all of the equipment. Um, obviously hoping that the dogs do well, wondering if the challenges that I set up, whether they're going to be able to successfully do those, hoping that they are. Um, you know, one of the other things is um, I'll go out and I'll prepare my ring crew because without my volunteers, I could never do this job. So by educating them on what to do, it just makes the ring go easier. And then just to make the experience smooth for the exhibitors, because they're nervous. This is the open class and, uh, you know, they're still nervous. They're young, they're inexperienced, they have young dogs. Um, so it's, it's pretty exciting. I mean, definitely going out there and knowing that, you know, anything can happen with the dogs. Sometimes they poop in the ring and just letting handlers know, no big deal, we'll just handle it another day. Hey guys. Hi. Okay, go ahead and clear the course, please. May I have my timer, scribe, my ring crew. First dog in three minutes. I know. <laughs> what was that? Uh, go ahead and just kind of put it under the A-frame. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Can you, you want me to go, right? Yes, please. Which one to go? Okay, so go. Yeah. 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 Number seven is actually the go. Yeah. Yep. And then I hit start as soon as I go. Yes. So what we should probably do is put your chair right yes. here so that you can sight right uh, down between what? the two posts here. And we can move the table in just a bit if you need to. Awesome. I was part of the trial committee. Um, you need to have a minimum of five people. Actually, we had probably about eight or ten people to form the committee. Most of my duties with relation to this most recent trial was handling all the ribbons and awards and toys and prizes, as well as securing the judges, picking them up at the airport, taking them out to dinner, settling them in the hotel, and um, any duties as requested. <laughs> This is the dog walk. Dog walk consists of three sections, 12 foot sections. They're 12 inches across. Um, ours are rubber coated. They've taken rubber and, I don't know, shredded it and blown it all over the side of the thing so it doesn't slip. Uh, there are ridges in it to keep the dogs from falling as they go off. There is a contact zone. This is not long enough. There's supposed to be 42 inch contact zones. Uh, from the bottom up, the dog does not have to touch the contacts on the way up, but on the way down, he must touch at least one toe in the contact zone um, to qualify. Why are you here today? We came here to watch all the dogs and to do cool tricks. Yeah, what's your favorite? What's your favorite of the tricks they do? Um, they go through the tunnels. You like the tunnels? Yeah. What's your favorite dog? Did you see any dogs you like? Um, I saw a few boxers that I liked. I have four dogs at home. So what's the weather like today? <laughs> wants to be a weather girl. <laughs> <laughs> today is 34 <laughs> degrees and the sun is shining. Oh. Uh, my job at the, our most recent AKC trial was that of trial secretary, and that's a job that begins a couple months before the show, and I'm the person that accepts all the entries into the show. Those of us who have particular breeds might say that, that that's the breed that's best for agility. The reality is what you want is a dog who is attentive to the owner. So a dog that is going to focus on what you want it to do because really the dog is responding to you. The dog wouldn't naturally do these things in this sequence on their own. They might naturally jump, they might naturally uh, do something that's typical, uh, that's, that's like an A-frame, but they wouldn't do them in, in order. What they'll do, though, is they'll do it for you. They'll do it because you're their owner and they want to please you, and they think it's fun. Um, a lot of people suggest that maybe herding dogs because they have that intense focus, that intensity, might be um, more suited to agility, but you see every single breed. You see every single breed and mixed dogs, mixed breed dogs performing agility as well and doing it well. This is an A-frame. Um, the dog has to approach it and crawl, go over it, an end at the end and a toe somewhere has to touch. In AKC, it goes to two heights. If a dog is over eight inches, then it's five six at the height. If it is um, eight inches and under, then they lower it so that it's only five foot and it is not as steep to climb. Yeah, a qualifying run means that you have met the standard set for the level at which you're competing. And uh, let's say that you've started agility in AKC agility with your dog and you're at your first trial. You would be a novice A, novice is beginners, and A means you've not, uh, the dog doesn't have a title and you've never run a dog before. So you um, do your run and let's say it's a qualifying score. Maybe you were a little bit over time, maybe you missed one contact, but you're allowed to. And so you have a qualifying score. Once you get three qualifying scores, that means you've earned a title. 
So your dog now has an NA, a novice agility title, or a novice agility jumpers title if they're in that venue. So there are, there are a couple of different events that you can enter. That means then that you would move to open. You'd need three qualifying scores to be in open, and then you'd earn another title, and then you and your dog would move up to excellent, where you'd again need three or more titles, and then you'd move to different levels. So those qualifying scores give you the legs, is how they're referred to, to um, earn a title. We work with 4-H. Um, we, we work with all kinds of rescues, from the Bassett to the Labs to uh, the Schnauzer rescues. Um, we help them do a little bit of fundraising through some of our events. Um, we work with the Humane Societies, um, trying to help place dogs. We, we encourage them to bring dogs here to help us train, uh, train you to help your dog. The standard course time is determined by the judge. After the course has been built, the judge will go out with a measuring wheel and approximate the course that the dog would take with that wheel. And she'll determine how many yards that course is. And then she has a formula for completing yards per second. So she will come up with her standard course time that way. She has a mathematical formula. And she, it's a little bit different for different heights of dogs. So they take that into consideration also. Um, the best is called a mock, and a mock is where you have um, not only have you had those three qualifying scores, but you've, you've done something called double cues, where you've qualified in both the standard run and then an event called jumpers with weaves. And you do that a number of times, um, and you have to have cues in both events at each trial. And then you also have to amass something called speed points or points. Uh, so it's, a, it's, it's one of those systems where you have to really kind of read the rules to see what you need to do to um, get that mock score. Go have fun with your dog. That's really what I can say. Go have fun. <laughs> at, at Gem City, we have classes from beginners, actually foundation classes that start with um, when they're little puppies. Um, they start learning to work a little bit off lead, going over a few small jumps, little jumps that just work with them, uh, all the way up to what we call our master's class, which are people who are running um, either at what we call a catch level or a mock level for AKC. It's people who have been doing it for quite a few years and have a lot of titles on their dogs.